Aldo, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Stream Dark Cloud. So, last time, we completed the Moon Sea, beat up Minotaur Joe, rebuilt the Sun Giant, and found out that the Dark Genie that destroyed pretty much everything was actually just a mouse. And the real Dark Genie awaits us at the other end of this, the Gallery of Time. So before I go in, I do want to mention I did do a little bit of stuff off-screen, mostly fishing, but I also remembered that I forgot to do, um, I forgot to go into the Moon Sea and use that last, uh, bravery launch that I picked up. So I went and did that off-screen, so now, uh, my main three here have their weapons ready to go. So let's go to Muscalaka real quick. See what kind of gems they're gonna need. Osmond should be good to go, I would think. But we'll have to see. So I know Osmond actually can go ahead and just get his ultimate weapon now. So let's look. So the Atlamilia Swords got. Okay, I'm assuming I give it these for element purposes, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I gave it those for elements because that's all it needs. So we'll go ahead and put this on here. Let's see, do you still need either of those? You need thunder still. Okay, so how much thunder do you need? We have a pearl here. Will that do? Oh, okay, so a single pearl will do the trick. So... Hmm. Lowest would be fire. Fire and wind. So let's go ahead and get exchange FP. Let's get a garnet and a sapphire just to have that on there. You can see how many fishing points I accrued off screen, so hopefully this should be enough. And then we have those. So next let's look at ruby. Ah! She actually needed something. Hang on. You need magic. No elements, and that's it? Really? Magic and no elements. Okay. Um, let's give her another emerald. Get that magic up. magic do you need? Still quite a bit, so... Hmm. Let's look. Because if I get her another emerald, is that going to be enough? Yes, it will. Okay, so... With that in mind... Let's give her two pearls. Work on that thunder a little bit. Perfect. Okay, and then Osmond, I think, is already good to go. Yeah, he can make the Starbreaker. So let's go ahead and build him up. This is his ultimate machine gun. And you hear, you get a special sound effect for building up an ultimate weapon. So now we have the ultimate machine gun. So Osmond really isn't going to be getting too much work done. He's going to be waiting for synth spheres mostly. But um, I will figure out that kind of stuff when I actually get to that point. So let's head into the gallery of time then. Now that we've gotten all of our gems sorted. So it really is just Toen and Ruby that need the work, so... What? Hold on, what? Why is the demon shaft here? That should not be here. That is weird. I wonder if that's because I've got a game clear file already. Because normally the demon shaft's not supposed to show up until... Yeah, this is the right file. 
Demon Shaft's not supposed to show up until after you beat the Gallery of Time, so that's more than a little weird. Okay, so this is the Gallery of Time. This is effectively the final dungeon, and Dark Cloud 2's Dark Cloud 2's equivalent would be the Moonflower Palace. So you can see the regular battle music does not play here. It's overridden by the dungeon theme. So, some notes about the Gallery of Time. As you saw there, we got the clock hands. Okay, let me actually go down here. The clock hands. That is the gate key. That's how we get out of here. Uh, the secondary key, I think, is called the shadow key. And then... Ooh, yeah, look at that. And then, um... The back floor key is actually not something that we can get in this version of the game. The back floor key is an item called the Flapping Duster, but due to a bug, it is not available to Western audiences. Neither the US nor PAL versions have the Flapping Duster. You can sort of get it if you know how to do like item manipulation glitches and pulling stuff out of the ether a la the Broken Dagger, but um, it's really nothing too concerning. So anyway, on to the monsters here. Uh, the first two we've encountered, we have Curse Dancers. Uh, curse Dancers are kind of the precursor to the Griffin Soldiers. They kind of attack the same way. And then we have Evil Bats, which are reskins of the Cave Bats. They are weak to holy. Most enemies in here are going to be weak to holy, so you should be able to do some pretty decent damage with that. Let's see, let's avoid that. Now, since this dungeon doesn't have a standard, like, what's the word I'm thinking of? It doesn't have a standard, like, floor listing. Like, it won't tell you specifically what floor you're on. It's not like the first, the second, the third, whatever. It does it based on time and how far back in the past you are. Uh, so it's a little tricky to keep track of exactly where you are. Uh, some tips to kind of give you a bit of an edge, I guess, to kind of help you figure that out. Uh, the Dark Genie first appeared 400 years ago, so the closer you get to 400, the closer you are to the end. Uh, also, something about Curse Dancers, as their name implies, they can in fact curse you with their physical attacks, so don't get hit. I believe Evil Bats can poison you. But uh, not only is it the closer you get to 400, Near the end, I want to say it's like the last six floors. Well, the last five before the actual final floor. Uh, there are special limited zones that are all character specific. So once you start running into character specific limited zones, you know you're near the end. So far, so good, though. You'll notice we are getting Giorama parts in here, but there wasn't a building field outside. So, the Giorama here is unique in that there's no building field. You have to do the Giorama in the dungeon itself. It's kind of similar to... Okay, I need to get rid of you. Uh, it's kind of similar to the shipwreck with the music box key, where the... Um, the boss door. Ow. Okay, I got cursed. Ouch. That's going to be tricky for when I need to make sense scares later, but for right now, should not cause a problem. Oh yeah, and instead of pools of water, I think this is a nice touch. Instead of pools of water, you have like this, this magical stained glass fresco. It looks really nice. Oh, there's a new enemy. Yeah, revival powder. Here we are with a Dark Flower. This is the fourth and final version of the Cannibal Plant. 
Uh, much like with the cannibal plant, its projectile can goo you, and I do believe its physical attack with the arms can curse you. Mm -hmm. Holy did decent, but I think as a plant, it is weak to fire. Make sure you've got Steve equipped. Yes, you do. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to go over here real quick and explain the flapping duster. Uh, those are, I don't know if I did that off screen or if that was on like a proper video or not. But um, one time when I got the Happy Clown, uh, I chose a small box and I got a, um, a Sundew out of it, despite the Sundew not being the key for the backdoor key for the dungeon. What that was supposed to be was a flapping duster. And I'm guessing what like, it's supposed to be is you would use the flapping duster either on the window, or I'm guessing that may also be a painting, or the magic carpet or something, and then you would fly the magic carpet to get to the back floor. But since we're playing the US release, we don't get that, so no back floors for us. King's magic is so powerful, he can pull us out of uh, time space rifts. Nice. Man, we're getting a lot of random effect tiles in here. Okay, there's another new enemy, Billy. Billy is like Sam and Mr. Blair, only he is Thunder Elemental. I believe he's weak to wind, but let me deal with this bat first. Okay, so are you going to be as block happy as the uh, Mr. Blair's? Because I really don't want to have my sword break on you again. Oh yeah, no. Well, 670. It wasn't... Tr it wasn't quadruple digits, so maybe he wasn't weak to it? Hmm. Maybe not. But generally speaking, thunder-aligned enemies in these games are usually weak to wind. But, hmm. He's doing a lot of family stuff right now, so he's going to be going in and out. That's fine, Koopa. I'm glad you're here. So let's actually test. So we did like 670, I think, with Holy before. So... Oh yeah, no. These guys do not like fire. Can I not open the chest? Okay, fine. 663. So, kind of similar? You're looking for a really big damage number boost to know when you've hit the weakness. A lot of cooking done for the weekend, that leads to a lot of cleaning. Oh, that's always fun, isn't it? I hope you all made at least made good food and enjoyed it. Yeah, as you can see, the cursed dancers are definitely weak to holy because we are dealing quadruple damage to them. Or uh, quadruple digit damage, I should say. I'm willing to bet that that other passageway up there was probably just a dead end with some stuff in it. I was correct. Backtracking! Oh, a whole lot of stuff in here. 
the moon. Alright, let's test with you. Thunder's not gonna do anything. Okay, so fire and ice are about the same. It's gotta be wind or holy. I would think wind, but it didn't seem to do any extra. It still did about 600. Oh, lovely! Two dark flowers right next to each other. You out. You out. There we go. That could have been messy. Petite fish. 18 year old petite fish. Lovely. I'm going to be surprised if when we head back, that's not going to be rotten. Sorry about that, folks. I had a really big sneeze. I'm just glad it came out. Ooh. Mm. There we go. Again. So we were doing about 660 or so, like I think it was like what, 669? Yeah, 670. It was like barely doing more, so I don't know, they may not be weak to wind. They might be weak to holy, in which case that's really weird. Oh, oh my trans feather broke. Yeah, I picked up an extra Drans Feather from the uh, Moon Sea, so I figured I might as well just keep it. Well, here we're about to find out. Oh, never mind, there's a bat in here. Let's take care of him first. Let's try Holy, because I know Thunder is not going to work on you. Six ninety-seven. So those things are weak to holy. Either that, or they have no weakness, and the holy being the most powerful is the only reason that that did so much damage. They may not have a weakness. Hmm. I just think that's strange because, like I said, thunder aligned monsters usually are weak to wind. <sighs> Excuse me. Woo. No bats. I mean, I guess it ultimately doesn't matter because I can one-shot him anyway. So I guess just use whatever is applicable for other situations. There we go. Yeah, see, he still died in one hit, so not a problem. Atlas topside. Oh, we have an Ungaga door. Uh, let's get rid of this, shall we? Using our Terra Sword. Okay, there's a new enemy living armor. Uh, we haven't seen, uh, we haven't seen statues since the Divine Beast Cave, but these are essentially a reskin of the, uh, statues that I believe these are classed as metal monsters, and as such are weak to thunder. Oh yeah. So, not bad. Granted, I'm not good right now, so it doesn't really help. Oh, 
Actually, are you weak enough that I can just one-shot you anyway? Yes, yes you are. On fire. Careful. Okay, both of these are ruby enemies. Okay, so all the monsters are down south. Let's go take them out first. Careful, don't want to accidentally step on that thing. I mean, lots of crowns. Oh yeah, I should also probably mention, this dungeon is unique in that... Oh, nice. Uh, this dungeon is unique in that it breaks the established formula of every dungeon having a halfway point that's plot-related. This one does not. Uh, might as well upgrade it. We can at least use Steve's level to make a tally of how many times have I gotten that. So, looks like I have gotten ABS fill up three times. So, we'll see how many more we get before the end of this adventure. really lucky with like all of the early gate key drops. Another one. Die. Right. Anything over here? No, don't go upstairs. Anything over here? No. Alright then, moving on. Oh, hi, Mimic! Now, I believe these Mimics are classified as metal, so... They're gonna do... Okay, he blocked, so... No, oh, they look and sound like it, but I don't think they actually are, because that only did two. Printed Durable may have been playing a part in that, but... You are, yeah, still Thunder.
So how goes the turning back time? Haldo Duck, how you doing? Uh, you can see we're only on the fourth floor. We've been getting really lucky with the gate key drops, but... Otherwise, not too bad. You can see I've been cursed, but... Kind of par for the course when you're dealing with cursed dancers. Day, Doc. A potato cake? Hopefully I won't need that, but I'll hang on to it regardless. Over 1k on that shot, yes! Um, you missed it, actually. Very start of the stream, Osmond got his ultimate weapon. He managed to get Starbreaker legit first thing. And we're on the cusp of ultimate weapons for everybody else, too. Shot. Does that have durable on it? No. So that's gonna get sold. Didn't think it was possible to drop from big chests. I mean, Bennett slingshot? That's. Uh. I mean, weapons, big chests are usually how you get weapons, so... Unless you were talking about, um... Oh, no! No, 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 no. He didn't get it from a big chest. I built it up. I happened to... You were telling... I don't know if you recall, but, um... Last episode, you kept telling me to upgrade my G... Uh, I think it was the G-Buster? Or whatever it's called, the previous form of this. You kept asking me to upgrade it before fighting Minotaur Joe. Because this is the next chapter. I do the uh, upgrades on a chapter based uh, sort of system. And plus, now that he's got his ultimate weapon at the ready, uh, that means I can start working on Synth Spears again and not really worry about wasting points anywhere. Whoa, whoa. I mean, I'm already cursed, so it's not like that's actually going to do anything, but... Ooh, noise? Ah, here's a new enemy, Rash Dasher. Uh, I think these guys are actually with the fire. But, um... Let's see, 330? Oh, maybe not. Mm, ice? Oh, they are red. So. Oh, yeah, you gotta be watch out for that axe. Oh, yeah, those guys are weak to ice. Holy crap, they're weak to ice. Okay, let's see. That should do. Upgrade. With our Alamelia Sword plus five, we can now build up into the Chronicle Sword. The most powerful sword you can get through the build-up system. Ooh, and we got a double slot right away. Not that that's really gonna help. The Dark Chronicle. No, sadly, there is no such sword. Dark Cloud is a thing, but I think it's a penultimate in this one. Uh, let's see. So this one, I think, just needs attack, magic, and elements. Which, we still got Sin Spirits to work on, so I'm not too concerned about that. All right, Ruby, your turn to mess some people up. Let's see. Die. Nice. Ah, 
the pitch dark key. That's the secondary key. Yeah, funnily enough, the demon shaft's actually like open and available to us right now, and I don't know why. I think it has to do with the fact that I've got another complete save on here, and that's why it's showing up, but it is there. We got down here. Yeah, that that's my guess. G Crusher. Nice. I didn't know you could find that in a chest, but granted, I've never seen any of Osman's weapons in a chest. And this one does not have durable on it, so that is getting sold. Open the chest, Ruby. There you go. Throbbing Cherry. Don't necessarily need that. Another potato cake. I'm getting some pretty decent loot here, not gonna lie. Not Zhao, Osmond. There we go. Athena's armlet, armlet plus four is ABS is full. Let's upgrade this. Build up the secret armlet. Bracelet sealed with the origin of everything. This is probably the most powerful weapon in the game as far as like single shot damage goes. The numbers you can get with this thing is ridiculous. And this one also has a double slot deck. Okay, so from here on out, I'm mostly going to be focusing on Synth Spheres. So, let's see, what weapons do I have in reserve? The Drain Seeker needs work. Uh, that's Ruby's, that's Osmond's, and then those two will be for that, so... Right, I need to work on that knife some. Alright, so we're going to have to be real careful not to break our new toy. Yeah, you can see how much damage that did. Nuts. Oh, right, because of the curse. Uh, let's see. Be gone! Endurance plus one, not bad. All right. But yeah, look at this beauty. Such a cool sword. Oh, I didn't mean for the Chronicle Sword to get that. First of that, Force of Habit. Okay, what did you steal? Premium chicken. Might as well eat that. And we got it for free.
clock hands. I think that's the first time the last enemy has dropped the key this run. Most of the time it's been fairly early. Alright, come on, Chair, work with me. Thank you. starting to get introduced to new enemies. These are the cards. Uh, I think they're unique to this area and the demon shaft, and I don't remember what their weaknesses are. Uh, let me check my notes, because I think I do actually have them. Uh, let's see. I do believe clubs are weak to fire, at least according to my notes they are, so... That did a lot of damage, so yeah, they are in fact weak to fire. Rider. Hmm. Mimic! Hello! Take that! Oh, I forgot to swap again. Whoops. I gotta remember to swap. I'm working on synth spheres here. Alright, let's try... Well, holy would be good against you as my most powerful thing, so come here! thing. Another one! Oh no, not the Drain Seeker. There we go. Ow! Thought I was going a little bit more sideways. Seems like everything's just kind of giving six ABS around here. Where's all the good stuff? Magical crystal. There's a healing pool up there. Hi, Mimic. Uh, I'm already on hold, so... Bat, yep. Yeah, take that, bat. I'm not as iffy about fighting bats with the Chronicle Sword, because the Chronicle Sword's got some pretty good range on it. done here. Oh, there's a pool here, too. Well, for a given definition of pool. Huh. Alright, once we're done with this floor, we're going to head back to Muscalaka and look at those gems. with my stats being as high as they are across all of my weapons, I shouldn't need too much. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, 
let me go ahead and put this on here. Boom! Plus 20 attack. Yes, please. Die! Oh, so much better. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter who gets it, does it? Might as well keep working on towing. Nice. The first campaign. Ow. Freaking bat. A gooey peach? I will sell that because they're cheap enough. Hi, Mimic. I don't think I've had to use Goro once in uh, the run so far. some good water. Okay, let's go ahead and sell stuff first while we're here. Uh, actually, no. We'll go to Musca, uh, Muscalaka first. Do the uh, stuff with the gems. Then we'll come back here and do the drink up and fix up. Okay, so let's look at what we need for our weapons here. I'm looking to max out my stats, so take these off for now. So we know this needs attack and magic. This needs all elements, basically. Um, and no monster stats for you. So I'm going to do some math here. Let me compare Drain Seeker. Uh, Drain Seeker might actually have everything I need already. So let's see. So for you, what do you need in the attribute department? So the cap is 99, as you can see here. So what I need to do is subtract what we have from 99 and then divide that by 0 0.6. Okay, so if the Drain Seeker has a fire level of 35, which it does not, I'm gonna have to give it a fire gem. So yeah, I'll need to give that a fire gem. So, do I have a fire gem? I don't think I do. Um, I do not, so let's give it a fire gem. So, one garnet. All right, that should do fire. So now if I go over to this, Ice. I'm going to need 47 ice points on this. So I need an ice gem, which I actually do have. I have this aquamarine here, so that'll work. And that'll give it the ice we need. Thunder only needs 8 points, which is 13, which I'm pretty sure this thing already has that. Yeah, no, that has plenty of thunder, does not need thunder. Let's see. And then same thing for holy. Uh, it might need holy, though. I think this thing only has 10 holy. Yeah, okay, so we're going to need a paradox for that to give it holy. The paradox also has the nice little bonus of giving attack points as well, so that'll help out with that. And then what is your wind? Your wind is 83. Yeah. 
I need 27 wind on this thing, which this has. Okay. So now I can focus more on attack and magic. So we'll give you... Let's give you an emerald for some magic. Oh, that maxes out your magic stat. That actually works out great. Cool. Okay, so Drain Seeker plus one. We're good. Now here comes the fun part. So this kitchen knife here, this one belongs to Ruby. So let's see. What does your secret armlet need? You need attack, magic, a whole bunch of elements. You don't need monster stats. That's what's important. So let's see. How are the elements looking on that kitchen knife we've got? Not good. So yeah, we're going to have to work on those elements. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's going to need a grand total of 32 fire to max that out. And you have no fire, so let's give it... Ruby can't use kitchen knives. Uh, let's see, so yeah, we're going to want two garnets for that. <laughs> I think he knows, uh, Duck. Alright, so we're going to want two garnets. Okay, now this one's Osmond's. I played this before and she uses Monica's armbands. Sort of. Let's see, Starbreaker, what do you need? You need attack, magic, a whole bunch of elements, and some monster stats too. So, I believe I've already taken care of the monster stat thing. Let's see. Okay, so this kitchen knife over here, this one, needs to have, yeah. So that should do for monster stats. That doesn't need any more. So let's look at your elements. Your elements are... Thunder is your weakest. So I think what we'll do is give two pearls to that one. leave these two alone. Now, back to you. What do you need? Um... I'm actually wondering if they're... Oh, right, we're just needing attack and magic with this. That's all. So, let's see. 79, so yeah, that can still get a few. Um... I guess just topazes, because topazes raise attack, and I don't need elements on that anymore. So let's see, exchange FP. Where are those topazes at? There they are. Oh wait, I can get one more. Now let's see how that holds up. This thing's got four slots on it. That's pretty impressive. By the way, how are you doing, Abstract? I didn't get much of a chance to talk to you today. Okay, so yeah, that still has room to grow, so let's give it another topaz. Bada boom. Okay, and that can stay there. So, let's see, I believe Ruby... I believe you still need fire, yes? Yeah, that's going to need 32 fire on that knife. So, let's see. Yeah, that's going to need 32 fire, so two more garnets for that one. And then for Osmond...
probably more thunder, but let's see what they have. Yeah, it's already got some decent thunder. Let's give it some wind. Actually, no, we can go, well, yeah, let's give it some wind. We'll go with sapphire. Sapphire is good wind. And then we have these two here just waiting. Okay. Back to the gallery, and it's Synth Sphere time. Oh, actually, wait, no. I gotta go sell stuff first. My mistake. I'm hoping my math is right. It should be. What can I sell you? Uh, spare premium chicken. I don't need this. Oh, I didn't mean to sell two of those. Whoops. Uh, I'll have to go back and get some more. That's fine. Uh, stones. Get rid of these. Only need one of those. Well, two of those, technically. Let's see, baby peach. We can sell that. Don't need an extra revival powder. Uh, we do need some extra repair powder, though. Let's see. the G Crusher, and we don't need this. These. Ooh, right, we got power-up powders. I can make use of those. Uh, let's see. Stick those in there for the time being. Those can come in handy. And I'm gonna have to go to Queens to get some more specific stuff. So, let's see. Queens. I gotta go get a holy water from Susie. And. Do they sell soap here? I don't think they do. I may have to go to the Wise Owl shop to get that. Because I know Susie's the only merchant in the game besides Rondo that sells holy water. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get another thing of soap, but that should be fine. Uh, I don't think anyone in Queens sells soap. And I'm pretty sure Brooke sells Mighty Healing, so yeah, Matataki's probably gonna be where we need to go for that. God, how long has it been since I've been here? Everything looks good. Right, now we can head back. years ago, roughly. So we passed kind of the 25% mark, at least numerically. Alright, hearts. Um, 
I know in the demon shaft, hearts are not weak to anything. They are, I think they're one of the few enemies that are outright immune to everything. Uh, let's see, spade, heart. Yeah, okay, they are immune to everything, so I don't remember what their weakness is here. Um, well, between holy and thunder, those are my two most powerful ones. I think I'll just stick with holy for now. Gotta watch out for that. I don't think that's a status effect. It just hurts. But I do want to watch out for it. Oh, I was wrong. Not everything gives six here. The bats give four. Alright, let's see. What's over here? By the way, Abstract, how are you doing today, if I didn't already ask? Ooh. Should have done this earlier, but yeah, no, my levels are fine. Any other monsters in here? No? Yes? It's a ruby door. Alright. That looks green, so we're going to want wind for that. And while I'm thinking about it, Toen, you can have this. There we go, a nice attack boost. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. There I go, forgetting to swap again. <laughs> poor Steve. Oh, poor Steve. Hi, Mimic. Hmm. Is it just me, or did Ice do more damage than Holy did? Weird. Granted, that may also be because I put the sun attachment on there. That probably has something to do with it. you miss? Those power-up powders might be good for the uh, Drain Seeker, because that one's got a bit of an ABS uh, count on it. Check that, actually. What level is that? That's plus one? Yeah, still got some work to do. That's fine. Hello. Oh, nice! A vial of holy water. I could have gotten that reimbursed for free. Cool. Oh, is this a mimic floor? There's just like chests everywhere. Yeah, it looks like it. This is looking like majorly a mimic floor. Oh, and you're not a king mimic. Hello. Got anything good? Crystal ring. Let's see, does that have durable on it? It does. Holy crap, it does. I know exactly who's getting that. Okay, yeah. Uh, keep that. We may not need that for stats, but that ability is worth it. Man, it's rare enough to find a weapon one weapon and has durable on it. I found two in one playthrough. That is very nice. Now if I could just find a five-foot nail, I'd be a really happy cat. But, oh well. Probably not gonna find a five-foot nail.
As I recall, Mimics aren't actually weak to anything, so any of the 99 stats I think will do. Just for the sake of speed. Whoa! Yeah, you want to be careful with these. I've seen them do over 100 damage. It's really nasty. Really, really nasty. I mean, we got one for free, might as well use it. Yeah, no, 790 across the board with the 99s, so yeah, they're not with anything. Right, let's move on, shall we? years ago. Let's go this way first. Okay, that's a pillar. I was making sure that was a pillar and not a random effect tile. Alright, you're weak to fire over there. chat today y'all okay Ooh, fun I get to deal with a bunch of these guys death's door right now. I feel bad for Steve. Tasty water? Uh, I actually might use that here in a second. Pitch dark key? Alrighty. Alright, on over. Okay. I want to get rid of you first. Just so I'm not like bouncing into you all the time. Okay, Drain Seekers plus one's ABS is full, so you should be good. Upgrade! Okay, so if I take this off and put this on you, dang, you still got some attack to go. If I'm not mistaken, I think this thing caps at 110, but I could be wrong.
Oh, no, I don't want to use that. Let's go with this. Uh, let's see. Attribute wind. Diamonds. I saw a diamond behind that guy. What is diamond weak to? Um, diamonds are weak to holy, at least in the demon shaft they are, so... 777, so that did a bit more. Let's see if that holds true here. No, not that. There we go. Seven ninety nine. I don't think so. Ooh, they drop antidote amulets though. That's nice of them. Hello, banana. I guess that's where we need our key. that tasty water. There we go. Extreme close-up! Uh, let's go this way first. Exit? Okay, never mind. We'll go there last. Back this way! I'm about to say, is it nothing but Billy's in here? Okay, so Holy did like 790. 770, so Holy still worked better than Fire did, at least. Uh oh. Yeah, those guys are nowhere near as punishing on your weapons as their Mr. Blair cousins are. Oh no, not my Dram's Feather. Like I have a stockpile of these or anything. Menace of the West. Broken sword. I should hope my swords don't get broken. I worked hard on this one. I lost this sword once, I ain't losing it again. And a dark flower.
22 years ago. Now well, there's the exit. So go this way, I guess. And a dark flower. Whoa! Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get a status effect from that. Either it doesn't do a status effect, or maybe it's poison and I blocked it. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, spades. I think spades are weak to wind. Let me check my notes. Um... Spades, spades, spades. Spades are weak to fire, apparently. Hmm. At least in the demon shaft they are. Oh yeah, spades like to guard too. Oh yeah, they're still weak to fire. They are definitely weak to fire. Yeah, I think spades out of all the cards are the ones that are most likely to guard. So watch those cowardly spades. Another pitch dark key. Hmm. I'm thinking this is probably going to be one of those things where this area down here is just like a small dead end room, just kind of like off to the side. So I'm going to save myself some trouble. Yep, that is exactly what this is. And I believe I just saw a Mad Dasher over there. Or a Rash Dasher. They're called Mad Dashers other in other places, I think. No, Rash Dasher. It's Savage Ram in the second game. Where does Mad where did I get Mad Dasher from? The deal. Now, Seda told us about that. Let's see, are you a King Mimic? We haven't seen one yet. No? Wow. And a double impact. Okay, what do you got? Anything good? No. No, oh, that's money. So, abstract, that's like the third chest I found in here, I think. Am I still on ice? No. Just fix that. Nice. Now I wonder if you're also weak to win. No, I think Holy did more. Hmm. Those of you who were around when I was doing my Minecraft adventure playthrough might recognize this music. I played this in the end. Let's see, premium water. Not bad drops. This is Sophia again. Dang! Throw premium chicken at me. Sure, why not? The monster corridor, and we should be good to go. Should be on fire already. All right, there's our clock hands. Sorry, Zhao, you are permanently benched. 
Okay, so when did like 900? I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? I guess they are weak to wind. Honestly, not that it really matters. They're so weak I can one-shot them with probably anything. But still. I like knowing. Drain Seeker plus two, ZBS is full. When we go back and upgrade that, like with gems, I can use the two power up powders I've got in storage to get that to five, so we can get that one settled off really quick. The kitchen knives, by comparison, don't need as much. The game's like, yeah, I can't damage that anymore without breaking it, so here, just get stamina status. zone. Okay, this is a drought floor. Okay, Chronicle Sword's getting a little beat up. We're going to have to be careful with that. Don't want to accidentally lose it after all that work we put in. And I hear what I think is a Rash Dasher. Yep, I was right. a new enemy, Joker. Jokers are nasty. Uh, I mentioned this about them in the second game. They only really have one attack, which is swinging their scythe at you. But that scythe is like the King Mimic's clap attack. It'll do half your health always. Uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Weak to holy, apparently, so let's give that a shot. I don't think they're particularly sturdy either, so I shouldn't have to worry about breaking my sword on it. Yeah, no, they are definitely weak to holy. Okay, there's too many chests in this room. There's gotta be a mimic, uh, mimic in here. Again, not a king mimic, okay. What do you got? Another pterosaur, jeez. Do you have a uh, durable on you? No, but yeah, you'll get sold, because why not? Okay, never mind. There seems to be a fairly standard amount of enemies here, so maybe this is just a treasure room. Nope, there's mimics. Mighty healing. I might want to hang on to that thinking about the demon shaft, but... I'm not in the demon shaft right now, so I might just sell it. The fort.
Not taking any risks. Especially not when there's living armors walking around. Woo! Oh, you guard too. Nice. Though from the looks of it, he did like a spinning slide when he was guarding. What do we got? Map. Mimic. Dark key, I'm glad I came here first. Let's... Got over here. That's Ruby's kitchen knife. Focusing on blocking when you are trying to cut my health in half. Jeez. There's that key. I don't think we've used Goro at all this entire time. Oh yeah, no, Osman loses thirst real quick because of that effect he's got on his gun. So we get to play this game now. Um, you know what? 
Let's fight with Ungaga. He doesn't have anything to lose. That also means I don't have to worry about um, killing everything. Once I get the key, I can leave. Uh, let's see. Take this off. Ooh, nice. You too have a double spot. Yeah, you can see Ungaga does not do nearly as much damage because his monster stats aren't good. Alright. Lots of cards. It's a good thing we're using Ungaga because I noticed there's a little, uh, like, smoke door over there. I didn't pick up the hands by mistake, did I? Or, like, pick them up and not notice? No. It's just money at this point. Yeah, no. You resist fire. Um, I don't think it'd be holy, would it? Well, holy did more damage than fire did, at the very least. Ah! Got the key. I don't have to kill you. Bye! Let's see. I will, however, grab the loot. Special gear. Ah, we do have some Atla Orbs to grab. The Blood Agreement. Trans feather. <sighs> One sixty two.
At least I can get experience here. Whew. All right, let's experiment with you. So we know you're resistant to fire. Let's try wind. 786. Okay. Okay, well, no real way to guess the layout, so let's just keep moving. That helps. All right. Okay, so we know fire is not going to work. Let's try thunder. Ow. Yeah, she knocked me over, so I accidentally got some ABS when I didn't mean to. I didn't even see what she, uh, what the damage number was. <laughs> Am I just going like, to constantly get pumped with energy now because Steve's almost broken? Uh, go this way. Throw all these guys out. All right. So Thunder definitely did better. Though that may also be just like a raw power difference. Well, actually, no, because Wind and Thunder are the same. So yeah, maybe a slight weakness to Thunder? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I one-shot them anyway, as long as I don't use fire. This way, then. Ooh. Ah, I was wondering when you were going to show up. You'll give a nice chunk. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. And the key. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Hello, Pit. Okay, that kind of helps, even though I already had a general idea of where everything was anyway. Heavy gem. Okay, so Thunder and Holy are doing roughly the same damage, so... day every day in here. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let me make sure she's actually equipped with Steve. Yeah, she is. I guess because it, he has uh, one durability, it's not going to give anything else. That's funny. I never knew that, if that is in fact what that's doing. It may just be really weird luck.
Three mighty healing, thanks. floor. Okay, now we're at the 200 mark. You'll notice things are starting to look a little different. The carpets are looking nicer. Hmm. So let's deal with monsters first. we haven't seen in a while. Um, let's go with the small boxes. I really don't need any more weapons. What you got for me? Hey, a potato cake. I'll take that. That's worth about six gems if I need it. The assassin. Ooh. Assassination plot. Okay, exit right across from the entrance, as you do, Dark Cloud. doors. Do the repair powder. Okay, assuming that both of these are not character doors, watch this be the one that needs the key. Uh, yep, call it. I'm gonna have to come back to this one later. Let's see, is Goro finally going to see some use? Is this a pressure plate? It is! new enemy lich um these are a palette swap of the ghost enemy i believe they can curse you with their physical attack and their projectile i don't know that's a freeze that's the freeze projectile not the curse one it's the ghost that can curse you with their uh, projectile Powder, don't need it. And that should do for this one. Yep, there we go. You really don't like holy.
Might as well. That means that chest down there has the key we need. You are weak to fire. Actually, can I one shot you with holy? I can! My Chronicle Sword is so powerful, I just one-shot these guys. So, for the most part, I can probably get away with not swapping elements every fight. It might help speed things up a little. Seeing as how this is also the Dark Genie's stronghold, there probably won't be too much in here that is actually resistant to holy. Try sticking clock hands in a keyhole. That's gonna break the clock hands. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh, this decreased a little. Okay, so that was just a string of luck there. Yeah, I one shot these guys no matter what, so. Swapping around the elements like that's mainly just big numbers. Ooh, yes. Goo amulet, getting a lot of defense amulets here. eight years ago. I hear stomping. There is something big here. Blizzard! Okay, this is a golem-type enemy. These are weak to fire. Can I one-shot you without fire? Yes, I can. So, you are not the issue. Magical Crystal First Thing is a very nice sight indeed. Give eight. It's greater than six, so that's a start. You're getting there, game. Alright, I can just one shot you, so die. Okay. Ah! Hello, Shockwave. Knife plus four ABS is full. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really leave much for us to do, so let's just chop these guys up and move on. We'll head to uh, Muskalaka after this and start working on Sin Spears again. Exit. Yep. Ooh. Ice. Okay, I was I was thinking he dropped the. As fragile all your kitchen knives. No! Bad abstract, bad. Also, where have you been? I'm assuming you've jumped to another person's stream, as you tend to do.
There we go. Yeah, how dare you make all of my hard-earned synth spheres fragile. Oh, I missed. There we go. King Mimic! Hmm, I didn't know you could steal escape powder from them. Alright, well, Chronicle Sword's full up. Ruby, you're trying to have some fun. Other stream to complain about Speedo, then showered, now back. Cool! Yeah, it's kind of quiet in here without you around. You're usually a lot more chatty. And I don't know where Duck went. <laughs> Fear my raw power. Accident took a sugar nap today after eating too many ice cream sandwiches. This told your good DC watching hours. Oh man, ice cream crash, that's never fun. Granted, I'm also lactose intolerant, so ice cream hurts my gut. <laughs> Wine. We have drinks. We'll go ahead and rest up over here, just for the sake of speed. We want to bolt. I think I've lactose intolerance, but I don't dare too much. <laughs> like a dying toad. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Actually, before I leave, yo, Fairy King. Let me see those. A Muskalaka. Not the Sun and Moon Temple. There we go. Shame it's the middle of the night, but what can you do? Okay, so looking at you, I think we're just looking at attack power again. So. Okay, you can at least get 10 more. So I want to say that thing's attack caps at 110. I could be wrong though. So let's see. Topaz! Try for the 300 again, no luck. Got a big boy, but my flat luck was something like yours the other day. I mean, I guess I'm just like a Garion magnet or something, so I don't know what was causing those guys to constantly show up. Let's see, 90. 95. No, 99 is your cap. Okay, so we'll give you another Topaz. Let's change FP. Okay, and that should be all of your stats effectively maxed. Alright, so this thing is now maxed. There is no reason for me to level this thing up normally anymore. You look the other day, maybe the best I've ever seen, what was that? Four Barons and like ten Mardans in two hours? You got double-double Mardans even. It was less than two hours. It was like an hour forty or something. So, I'm gonna use my power-up powders on this thing. And immediately get this to plus five so I can break it down. Because if I'm done my math right, this should do for the Chronicle Swords elements. Ooh, 
Ooh, that maxes out the magic stat. That's very nice. Yep, maxes out all the elements. And of course, monster stats aren't a problem. So, yep, my math was right. So, maxed elements, maxed magic. What about attack? I think this thing has like a max attack at 250 or something. So, yay math, indeed. Uh, let's see. That's very tempting. That is very tempting to leave the sun there. Hmm, do I want to do that, though? Let me see. Let me get another Topaz. Because the Chronicle Sword can level up. It does have the ABS for it. So, let's see. If I put a Topaz on you, what does that leave your attack stat at? 239. I want to say this thing caps at 240 or 250. One of those two, and I'd rather not waste the double. So... Let's get another Topaz. The power of Synth Spheres. All right, let's see. All right, 240, that's not bad. That should be the last Synth Sphere that the Chronicle Sword actually needs. So, yeah, it's just a matter of getting the points at this point. Um, you know what? Let's get another Topaz for it. And see if that does the trick. Actually, you know what? I think Ruby needs another Garnet. So let's use a Garnet to test and see if that is, in fact, the case. Okay, 245. Um... Hmm. Let me look at Ruby again. What do you need? You've got a double spot, so that's worth something. Um, 32 is what you need. So... This kitchen knife... Okay, so no, you're good. I watched someone try to beat the side with Ruby in a gold armlet. That's causing me pain physically. Oh, dang. Dang, dang, dang. I can only imagine how that went. All right, let's see. There. Move these all over. Okay, so I was under the impression that she actually needed more fire. She does not. So we'll just put this here then. Now, is this going to max out the attack stat? No. Okay, so 250 is not the max attack. Which means I'm going to need another Topaz for that, but I'll just go ahead and have that on hand. You know what? Just for shiggles, let's put a parrot out on there instead, and we'll give that to the Chronicle Sword. Okay. So... What is it you need? Since Sphere the Chronicle for Shiggles, no. I have put too much effort into that sword. I am not Synth Sphering it. What would I put it on anyway? So, let's see. 40. Oh, this is your last level too, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, you've got the fire. You definitely don't need fire. Uh, holy. Holy's your next highest. 15. 15 holy. Uh, I could do that. Put two Paradots on there. That'd work. So, let's see, how does that look? This should max out some stats. Okay, so attack is decent, magic's kind of crap. It does max out fire and holy. That's the big thing I wanted it to do. And then, let's see. Ooh, those are some nice boosts right there. 
Yeah, with that, that's not bad. So, right, you'd need some gems for that. Um, filling the suitcase in Toto's wishes by defeating the Dark Genie with the Sun Sword, but I doubt Brooke sells it back to you. Yeah, no, no, he doesn't. So, let's see. Your next lowest would be ice, so we'll give you a couple of ice gems. I think would be suitable. And that actually is going to max out her ice because she's got a double. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay, so Osmond, what do you need? Um, you just need elements mainly. Uh, yeah, yours is just elements, which is thunder, wind, and holy. Uh, I could give you some holy. Imagine Kosuke dying and he's saying, these stats are bad right now, <laughs> Toto. Oh no, just break the poor kid's heart. Alright, so let's get a couple of these. better magic than before and pretty decent elements not bad that leaves fire as his weakest so we're gonna need a fire and probably a whole actually you know what uh let's go with a f garnet and a sapphire i think that'd be pretty good no durable i'll be selling this i think that's your exact quote yeah <laughs> more or less so let's see i'll take a garnet and a sapphire for osmond there Raise his attack and magic stats some. This here. And that there. Oh, what do you know? That maxes out his magic. Okay, well then. Uh, should be good then. Move these here. Now, I do want to look at these other kitchen knives here. So let's see, you, what do you need? You need thunder and wind. So how much do you need of each is the question. Um, let's see. Thunder and wind. Let's see. 82. Oh, wait. No. Hang on. Okay. So that needs 29 thunder. So that's going to be basically a level and a half for a pearl. Okay, let's see. So, two pearls. We'll go ahead and get that. Fish, sky, ice, yuck. Very few things, like, actually need sky to level up. Put that there. That one's rubies. So, Osmond, what do you need? You need... Holy and Thunder, so yeah, kind of the same thing. Holy and Thunder. Um, yeah, okay. So, two pearls. And yes, Sapphire doing Sky 2, but being way better. Indeed. So, two more pearls. So that'll cover Thunder. So now I'm going to need... Let me check Ruby again. So that should do her Thunder. What does she need for Wind? Twenty-two. So... Sapphires? For Wind, so... I'm thinking for this one, one Pearl, one Sapphire. That should do the trick. Let's see. One pearl, one sapphire. And 
and then Osmond. Uh, a couple of Paradots should do for that one. I might have to go fishing again, because I'm running low on fishing points. Making sense fear is expensive, man. Starbreaker have thirst. Um, not by default, no. But um, I did put a uh, antique sword that built up from a sandbreaker on it. So, yeah. Okay. So everything else should be fine. And I will also eventually want to work on these angel shooters, but that can wait. So let me... Yeah, because I had the... Uh... No, not the gallery. Or Kevin Castle. Because, uh, since there's, that's why. to check in, if anything. Um, picked up a cheese at some point. Uh, let's get this. Okay. Don't need that many premium chickens. I'll keep some extra mighty healings on hand. You never know. Guess I'll repair you, Steve. should be good. Now, weapons. You can go. I want to keep you. That has durable on it. And you can go. Wow, really? A penultimate weapon sells for one gilda. Wow. And Gaga really gets the shaft, doesn't they? No, they did not. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call it here because we're at about two hours. I don't know exactly how far in we are. We're, I would say probably around halfway if I had to guess, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna end the stream here. Or end it, a stream. I'm gonna call it a stream here and end it off. I appreciate all y'all for coming in tonight. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Later, everyone.